Hey guys, it's Kyle inside the play again. We're going to take a look at this. Uh, this is 1999 Iron Bowl in Auburn. Okay, this is one of those great plays that stands out in your memory as a personal type thing. Um, this game has a big significant meaning to me. I was about 12 years old. And, you know, that's when you're first starting to understand football. I mean, you may have loved it, but when you really understand what's going on, I'm in that time frame. Uh, Alabama is a win away from Atlanta in the SEC championship game. And Auburn is more than, if they lose this, they will not be going to a bowl. So Alabama had also not won in Jordan-Hare ever. They played that first game there in 1989 when Alabama came in number two in the country and undefeated, and Bill Curry lost his third and final game to Auburn. And uh, then in 1991, when we did beat them, there was a renovation of the stadium going on. So that game was actually played at Legion Field. 93, we go back and lose on a blown call in the back of the end zone. 95, we got beat by the, uh, the Tigers on their way to Atlanta. 1997, we lost on just a as fluky of a play as ever on a swing pass to Ed Sissom, who fumbled, led to Auburn kicking the game-winning field goal with less than a minute to go. Uh, and then we go back in 99. So, you know, it's in every Alabama fan's mind that we're kind of cursed in, in Legion or in Jordan-Hare Stadium. And when we get down there and everyone expects us to win, of course, we go down. We're down, set, we're down 14 to 6 in the second half. And we get stopped on a goal line stand by Auburn inside their five-yard line. The next play, Tuberville tries to go deep. We get a sack for a safety. Puts it at 14-8. to eight. Later in the fourth, then that was in the third quarter. Then in the fourth quarter, Alabama went down and scored. Took the lead 15-14. to 14. We'd scored again to go up 22-14. And Auburn had just went down and kicked a field goal to make it 22-17. So this play that's about to take place with a minute 15 to go with a third and four, Auburn has got to get a stop in order to give their offense a chance to go down, score, get the two-point conversion, and send this game to overtime. So what we're going to do, we're going to take the uh, one of the great backs in Alabama football history, and that's a mouthful right there, Sean Alexander sitting right here. He's going to run a play off your right side and go in for the score. So let's watch as Sean does his thing. Boom, we pull. The All-American, Chris Samuels out in front. This is the counter trade. The 99 tied love this play. Sean will take two steps to his left, come back and get it. These guys will wall out. Chris will lead up on this linebacker right here. Sean will follow him into the end zone and run all the way to Atlanta. As you see him get right there on that linebacker, cut back in, and in the great words of the late Kenny Stabler, let's go to the Georgia Dome. The SEC championship game awaits, and we finally, finally got that first win at Jordan-Hare. Uh, what a great play, great block. Um, you know, when you look back at that time in Alabama football history, you can see a lot of bad, and you can kind of see the things starting in 99 that led to the horrific 2000 season, which led to all the crap that came through the 2000s until the arrival of Saban. But this right here was that one perfect night when it all came together. Uh, if you've ever read Warren St. John's great book, Rammer Jammer Yellow Hammer, you know, this is a big moment for us to go down to Auburn and get a win. And that is one of those plays that sticks out to me. Sean punching that in, taking a knife to their hearts and getting our, finally, our first win in Lee County. So once again, that's inside the play. Let me know if you've got anything you want me to do down in the comments and thanks for watching.